Hey, it is time for another monthly studio report, and it is actually the 4th of July right now. We're a little bit late on getting this report out. Uh, we were a bit busy with the holiday and other stuff going on over the weekend, but we're here, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. I am, uh, by the way, I'm founder, CEO, project manager, writer, do a lot of things for Broken Hammer here, and I'm also the guy that does these reports every single month, so... Never said that one yet. If you've been paying attention, you just, I just caught you on that. So anyway, let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, yeah, this was a very busy month in the month of June. Uh, we, gosh, we had about, uh, we had a whole bunch of work orders get done for Project 2. And uh, we also had a bit of work done on Dust and Air. Um, yeah, we had, um, I know Winks, we got her the, the models to build, and she went through one or two work orders in the month. It was like over probably about half a dozen uh, models, characters, expressions. Not all of them had a huge expression set to build, but yeah, she went through it. We got a whole like, a whole bunch made up, so those are ready to go, uh, ready to load the engine. We actually only have, I believe it's two more left, but I think... I'm pretty sure that those models already have some basic expressions done. We're just going to see if we're going to need any more before we uh, before we toss them on into engine. Uh, so that's the good news on Dust and Air for Raven's Prayer. It's looking very good. Uh, there's literally hundreds of models that had to get done, and Winks really came through in the month of June. So we're very happy to make, a, make that announcement. Uh, Georgie did also finish a model for uh, Chapter 2. It's a... Not a major character model, but it is like a supporting cast model that he's in enough scenes that he's going to get some extra expression work done and a few other things that are going to happen with him. Um, but he's not in a whole, I mean, he's not in like a major, major amount of the story. I mean, we're, we're not, we can't spoil it too much, of course, and there's not too much to spoil. So he is in the written blog, uh, blog report that's on the site. And actually, I can go ahead and we can go right on into Photoshop here and I can show you some more of him. Remember. Okay, so this is the model that you are seeing on the site. And of course, here is the other, other model we have. So we do have at least two on this one. You can get a better view maybe of him now versus the site. As you can see the soot around the eyes. He's definitely a pilot. He has the pilot's uniform. Now we kind of, um, before we built this, uh, Georgie was asking, well, how do you want him to look? And I was just like, well, let me see. We want to look like a pilot. Let's go ahead and pull some um, outfit from the pilots in Guns of Icarus. And so we actually pulled from one of the, um, like one of the really, uh, I think it was the, um, the outfit that came with the um, crowdfunding campaign when you funded for the adventure mode, you got this really nice big puffy outfit. Yeah, this is kind of a variant off of that. So prepping him, and yeah, there is a smoke that he has in his hand, so he will be smoking. And so we, I mean, the game's already updated to include that. So, I mean, that's just a small little tidbit on this uh, character that we will be Having are we gonna have more characters like this? I smoke it yeah, probably. I mean, we're not gonna limit every. This is one thing we do with our characters is that we don't want to say, well, we have to make a character this way or that way because because it's because whatever whoever says so. We just you know, we'll let the characters be themselves and just come out. So this character, yeah, he's a bit of a he, he's a worker. He's a pilot. So he, he, he enjoys that thing. We will have uh, pilots that like alcohol, engineers that like alcohol and drinks. So that's kind of one of the things the characters are characters. That's just how they are. Uh, now, the other thing, Project 2. Now, this this was something I wanted to bring up because um, John has been, he's a main artist on the backgrounds and key images on Project 2. And he actually did update his... Um, is uh, lighting effects and such, which he's been doing. So this is one of the new ones we've been doing. It is one of the key images on Project 2. 
there's not enough really to go by really to tell you exactly where this appears in the story so i'm not worried too much about spoilers and stuff but this is mostly to showcase the lighting that he's doing he actually has improved quite a bit on getting the lighting and figuring out where the cloth comes in and how to add the shadows to it and brighten up things so he is improving a lot and this is all i mean this guy does this on a on a phone that's all he's doing finger phone and he's doing this much so it's like we're we're very encouraged by this guy we really uh, he's had a bit of a rough month um probably last entire month of june i mean he had some he had a, a medical emergency in the family i'll just say that much and uh, yeah during the middle of that and literally he's like i like help I need, I need work we're like okay yeah we got work so we were able to help him a lot through that time it was really good i mean his his uh, relative is doing uh, much better it's been a very good improvement and it's just it happens real life happens but he has um, very much stepped up and very much been a, a major asset we're glad to um, actually have him on the team and um the other part of uh chapter two i mean not chapter project two uh ingrid did she did do some major character model work in the month of june uh she had to leave two more character models and there was one that's in in process right now uh they also are very major ones uh there were ones where we had to she had to learn some new effects on those i think we mentioned the other month that some others got done that needed special effects on and she figured it out and they turned out really well uh, the one she's working on right now is probably going to be completed in the month of July. And once she gets that one done, she'll be able to do a few others that are waiting. Because it's kind of this first one sets the standard for the others. So yeah, you'll know later why I say that. You'll see why once, once more information on Project 2 starts coming out. And we detail more characters and you get to see it. Uh, other thing in the month of June, we did have a music meeting uh and, and G gimmon did start some of the uh he did a few th themes that he was he was messing around with he's kind of trying to juggle things with his own job it is a day job but he's kind of getting encouraged and getting back into it so we will be having another music meeting going into july and seeing if we can wrap up some more of the theme songs and soundtrack for raven's prayer um and then lastly, yeah, this is our anniversary. This is our seventh anniversary of Broken Hammer going the month of July. Sometimes we do some special discounts and things like that. And uh, we did do probably our biggest discount that we've had on Dust and Air in the month of July for the summer sale on both Itch and Steam. There are links on the blog. You can find that there. Uh, and we are up for 60% off on this sale. So get it while you can at uh, that price. Uh, we are also going to be on all previous. We are going to be on the um, Visual Novel Fest that's going to be coming up in about a month or so on Steam. That They sent us a they sent us an email or something earlier in the year. And they're like, hey, Visual Novel Fest, we're doing it this year. You want to join? We're like, oh, yeah, all right. So, we're going to be doing the Visual Novel Fest where hopefully Dustin Air will be showcased. You want a visual novel? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> and there will be another. That'll be the next opportunity you're going to have to get us on a discount. I won't tell you what, what type of discount it is or how much it is. You'll have to wait and see. Um, so as far as that goes, I hope everybody had a wonderful 4th of July in the United States. If you are in other countries around the world, I know we have a lot of people that have bought us from uh, Germany, Europe. Uh, we do have some from China over into Taiwan and Indonesia and Australia. So if uh, we miss your holidays, apologies. Uh, shoot us a message and we'll be glad to celebrate your country's holiday too. So we, we appreciate all your support. And uh, if you have fireworks in your country, remember, keep your pets inside. When you start to light them off, don't let them get scared like they do here in America. I heard actually today there was a little dog that was running freaked out of its mind in the street. And I was just like, okay, that, that is not good. Somebody found that dog up. The dog's not going to stop. And so it's, it's a shame. We always kind of like, oh, please don't get hit. Please don't get hit. <laughs> 
why uh, Broken Hammer, we are a game company, but we also love our pets and we care. We don't want them to see, uh, we don't want to see that splatter all over the road. I have seen that personally myself and I saw the driver speed off and it was, it was not good. It was a sh Shiba Inu, by the way, and that hurt a lot because I've kind of looked into those dogs a bit and I've been interested in one. I haven't got one yet, but I've just been like, you know. I don't want to see that happen to anybody else's dogs. Anyways, thanks for joining. See you in the skies.